What is going on my beautiful friends? Welcome back to Soul Body Balance TV. I hope this video finds you all wonderfully well. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day so far and I am super excited to be coming back to you guys with another video. So this video is going to be on taking back your power. So what does that mean exactly? So taking back your power just means literally taking your power back. I don't think we realize how powerful we are as human beings. Um, a lot of the times we don't realize that every single thing we experience is a choice that we kind of make. So um, let me explain because <laughs> you're probably thinking, I'm pretty sure I didn't choose to get fired. <laughs> so what I mean exactly is that you are in full control of how you feel every single day, of how you choose to let every single experience affect you, how you let other people, it's really loud, I'm sorry you guys. As I was saying, we are in full control of how we let other people affect us, how we let situations affect us, how we choose to perceive everything that is happening in our lives. So taking back your power simply means that. It means having an understanding that every single moment of your day, you are making a decision to let that person make you angry. So sometimes we can't help it. That is human nature. I'm not here to tell you, you know, you're not allowed to feel angry. You're not allowed to feel sad. You're not allowed to feel happy. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is having this awareness that you are in full control of how you let those situations boil up inside you, how you let those situations flow through you is entirely up to you. And it's just your choice to say, you know what? I'm not going to let you make me feel this way. I'm just going to breathe through it. I'm going to stay present. I'm going to realize that this is all happening for me for a reason. There's a reason behind it, a lesson behind it. And I choose to learn from it. And I choose to feel okay about it. And that alone is going to make you that much more powerful because instead of resisting the situation, you're actually allowing it to happen to you. And when you can allow things to happen to you, then you can actually see what you're meant to learn from it and take from that situation. So that is all that taking your power back truthfully means. It just means having the understanding that every single moment of your life, you are in full control of how you are choosing to process this entire human experience. So the next time that someone comes up to you and they're having a bad day they're trying to make you have a bad day because they're having a bad day say you know what no i'm going to take my power back and i'm not going to let you put me in a bad mood because you're having a bad day i'm going to listen to you i'm going to break all that heavy energy that you're currently bringing to my life out and i'm just going to take a step back and go off into my own happy bubble because what i always say is that you know we only have so much energy in our day and Sometimes we, you know, it's, we have to be there for other people. We should be there for other people. That is part of what we're here for is to give support to others. But it can't always be this scale where the person is always taking so much from you and you're always giving too much to them. So if there's people in your life that are constantly putting you in that cycle of you're super happy when you go see them and you feel heavy and tired and lethargic and not good and inspired after it, Take your power back and either limit your time with those people or express how you feel to those people and if you can't help them out of it and they're not choosing to help themselves, then get out of that place and it's the same thing with everything that is happening in your life. You know, if things are making you feel inspired, if they're not making you feel happy, take back your power, choose how you're going to process that situation and those feelings and those emotions and you can sit in it for a little while. There's nothing wrong with feeling sad or feeling angry or feeling anxious, but what makes a difference is whether you stay in that place and you don't. Because if we resist those emotions, like I said, you're not gonna be able to see clearly what is in it for you in that moment. And if you choose to attach yourself to them, then you're just gonna sit in those emotions for way longer than you need to, and you're gonna lose all of your power in that situation. So that is my message for today, guys. Take back your power, understand that everything that's happening to you it's happening for you and it's up to you to see it that way it's up to you how you choose to embrace what is happening in your life and it is up to you to choose to make every situation that might seem like a mess your message that's too cat <laughs> but no seriously like our mess is usually a message and it's something that we can use to inspire other people, help other people, and bring light to someone else's life because we have been able to experience that and uh, we can relate and share 
our experience. So <laughs> that's all that I have to say, my loves. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this video was helpful to you and you feel like it can be helpful to someone else in your life, feel free to share it. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you've been enjoying my content, I would highly, highly appreciate it if you guys hit that subscribe button. So that is all. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you have a beautiful, blessed day. And I love you all. Mm -hmm.